once a diagnosis has been made using very specialized techniques including using the sputum to check for the bacteria using special stains or using special techniques of a chest x-ray or a CT scan or sometimes even more advanced techniques where you have to do something called a bronchoscopy where you go into the lungs, put some water, take it out, look at it under the microscope and also culture it under a special technique of the microbiology lab and if you can diagnose it, you can say that tuberculosis is present. Modern medicine has advanced such that we can use the genetics of TB to diagnose within two hours nowadays. A lot of times patients come in very late. You look at their chest x-ray, you see holes in the chest and you can see that they actually have TB. Once you've made the diagnosis, the treatment can be initiated once you make sure that the bacteria is not resistant. As I mentioned earlier, because the bacteria is being treated by different people not using standard regimens, sometimes you get resistance. And when that happens, you have to use sometimes seven, eight, nine medicines, including injections to treat TB. And the duration of therapy goes up from six months to maybe even two years. The World Health Organization, along with other organizations around the world, including in India, have tried their best to regulate how TB is managed. There are several standard guidelines put out now by the government. And in fact, the government has mandated that doctors, both in private practice and in the public, actually notify the government when they have a tuberculosis case. This helps keep track of how many patients actually have TB, and it also helps keep track of who needs therapy to give an incentive to doctors and other people to actually give this information, the government gives money to the patient to help with their medications and also with their food that they require, and also to doctors and healthcare providers to notify when somebody has tuberculosis. There are several organizations involved in managing tuberculosis, and with partnerships between the government and the public sector as well as the private sector, there is an immense impetus to actually completely get rid of tuberculosis. The NTB program or the Stop TB program of the WHO and other global organizations aims to put a stop to TB because if we don't stop it, the economic impact is immense. People are actually not able to do their normal work. They're not able to do their day-to-day -day jobs. Really, they get isolated from society. We talked about how TB can spread. We talked about coughing. When you cough, my simple cough, like <coughs> when I do that, the particles go shot across maybe five, 10 feet within seconds. There have been special kinds of photography to look at it, and it's really scary to see how far these particles can go. So it's important to teach and practice cough etiquette. When you get a cough, either use a handkerchief to cover, use the corner of your elbow, or also you can use a handkerchief to kind of prevent the spread of the particles. You should also make sure that if somebody has a diagnosis of TB, that we don't shun them like untouchables and we really don't go close to them. It's nothing like that you have to protect yourself. And how do you protect yourself? Make sure that a person who's coughing, if their sputum is not infectious, meaning the treatment has started and the phlegm does not have any bacteria, then you don't need to really be isolating them away from others. But it's important that you cover up the phlegm and the cough when you're getting, especially if you have an active case of tuberculosis.